Yo, what is going on, y'all? So we're back with another VV and Ecomi video, man. I just wanted to talk to you all a little bit, give you all a little bit of update of an update on some of my thoughts and the way that I'm feeling towards the project now. I know you all like for me to do these updates and let you all know what's going on. So yeah, I wanted to give you one. I am about to start back posting a lot of other content on the channel. So I didn't want you all to feel like I'm not still covering VV. I definitely am. I am still going to be sharing my thoughts and opinions. I do still hold VV items. I also hold some Omi token. Um, that being said, I do still believe there's a future in it. And I've been trying to, what's the word? Um, I've been trying to, I guess essentially what I'm trying to say is I've been trying to analyze things and analyze the broader space. Look at what I see going on, what everyone is focusing on and see where i see vv actually fitting into this because i know that vv is still doing some some very revenue revolutionary type things you know especially when it comes down to the ip how much of it they've accumulated and they they're doing some really really good things but also because i am in a broader space i can see everything else going on so realistically i'm like yo what is the best case scenario in my eyes for vv now We've spoken a little bit about this before. I told you all how I felt about this before, but when it comes down to Vivi, I do believe that there is a place for the project. They have way too much IP. They have a lot of first appearances. They have a lot of significant pieces. pieces. But the thing with, the thing about the stuff on Vivi is it's not high quality and it's not that special in terms of what else is out there. So when it comes down to Vivi, you know how they have like a showroom and a glorified showroom, which is going to be the Vivi verse and stuff like that. At least that's what is is looks like it's going to be to me, just a glorified showroom. I think that that's where Vivi fits into this space. I think that it's going to be used to decorate other metaverses and Disney approved metaverses. I think it's going to be they could potentially use the NFTs as keys to, to open up different experiences on other metaverses and platforms and stuff like that. But I don't think that VV itself is going to be the Ready Player One. It was presented as when it first came out. Um, and if you weren't here at the beginning, those that that was the company's goals. That was the company's aspirations. That's exactly why people have held on to that, clung on to that. And people are saying the fundamentals have changed, not just with the Omi token, but their overall vision of what they said they were going for has changed. And, uh, and we can see it from a more realistic point of view, like with how long VV takes to actually accomplish certain things. It, it must be a lot of work to manage this, this IP and try to balance all these different things at once. Because, yeah, I can't see them becoming a metaverse that matters with Fortnite in the game, like the actual Epic Games in the game. And then the actual Ready Player One in the game. I, I don't see them becoming a major factor on that front. But in terms of having the items, the posters, the statues and stuff like that to display around other metaverses, that's going to look really, really cool with this stuff, with these collectibles, like the way you got your collectibles up in your house, having this in your house on meta, like, like meta, Facebook's metaverse, having it in meta, maybe in Ready Player One, you may like you could get your Todd statue in your little area, your space, your house, whatever you're going to have in that metaverse. Like, that's what I see VV as something that so a company that can make some strategic partnerships and try to get some shelf space in other metaverses like that's that's the only route that i can see them pretty much being successful i can't see vv actually taking interest unless they do something crazy on the ar front if vv does something crazy on the ar front they could potentially dominate when it comes down to the um ar front but in terms of the metaverse and all that i think that their best bet is strategic partnerships and honestly, I would love a strategic partnership, partnership style approach to them more so than them trying to build their own metaverses out and things like that. Because at this point, it's too late. They've all, that ship has already sailed. That ship has sailed. And I'm not trying to wait 15 years for them to finally put out something that's decent. And then these other companies that put out, you know, VV's dream metaverse first year, they're going to have 15 more years to innovate. It's like, no matter how hard VV goes, they're not going to be able to innovate and, and push for at the level of some of these other projects, unless they have a giant or Titan like Fortnite behind them, which let's be honest, Fortnite has no reason to do that. So yeah, so that's, that's where I'm pretty much at with it in terms of what's going to be the most valuable. Now, th this is the thing that some people may see as bearish, but it's not, 
it's kind of bearish depending on where you are in at. But you got to realize how much more inventory VV has now, how much of the prices was manipulated last time around, all time high. Like you got to realize how much when it comes down to VV was manipulated and why things went the way that they went before. Um, when it comes down to this project, I don't see a lot of these items getting back to all time high prices or anywhere near them at all. Um, the only thing that I can see actually still doing crazy numbers potentially is Omi. And that's if they start to actually deliver, if they can get approvals, if they're doing everything on the up and up, because they don't seem to be wanting to pay any attention to the crypto or pay enough attention to the crypto. They don't seem to care enough or, or it's something, it's something stopping them. I, I'm not going to speak for them. I have no idea. But they're they're not delivering when it comes down to the token. But because there's so much product, and I don't see every single thing being this super, super valuable, important piece just because it's the first appearance of everything. No, I don't see that happening. But I can see their stuff being used to decorate every other metaverse. And if the Omi token can play a part in this in some significant way, where VV does build its its if VV items ha gets to the point where it does have like hundreds of millions of unique holders because it becomes the staple for any any metaverse where you want to decorate your your space in if they can use VV's assets to do that and that's the name VV starts to hold in the space where for this metaverse to look good you need the VV piece in there if that becomes the narrative and this is what VV becomes that type of giant where it really is just about the collectibles and stuff like that a lot of potential there in my eyes Hold on. I got to sneeze, man. I got to sneeze and it won't come out. But yeah, it's a lot of potential for them to dominate when it comes down to collectibles, which is what they've been preaching for a while now anyway. Now, obviously, that's a lot different from what was promised, but I do see some potential there. So if that's if they can secure these partnerships and they can get the like selling five dollar pieces here, ten, twenty dollar pieces there, and you got these pieces spread out across a bunch of different metaverses because they actually unlock interoperability at certain points. Like at, at the point where they unlock interoperability and they kind of get VV working the way that it should have been working years ago. At the point where that happens, this is huge, right? Th this is going to be big because we can actually see things push forward, but but also you're not going to be seeing the type of returns that you're seeing on VV right now. I think that if the token is heavily integrated into the future of VV and VV works in this way where everyone is going to just be buying pieces, I don't think the pieces is going to be very, very insanely expensive like they're, like it is right now. There are going to be some that's super, super insanely expensive, but most of them are not going to be. So I think that the Omi token, if it if it can get a little bit of, you know, a, of a push or a kickback from every sale or something like that, if it can really get to that point, then the Omi token still, or it burns a lot of the Omi token, it's still a chance for the Omi token to do very, very well in the long term, but that would still be a long, a long way off, a long time off. Um, so yeah, it just it just all comes down to how they play it. There, there's still opportunity for VV. I don't see anything else in the space as far as NFTs is concerned. And I don't believe NFTs is going to be important or significant at all this bull run. But that's just my personal opinion. I don't think that this is the bull run for NFTs at all. Um, people still got a bad taste in their mouth from the last bull run. So who's trying to jump right back into NFTs? And obviously, I, I've been saying it. I've been preaching it from the beginning. We need to get to a place where we're not even using the buzzword NFT because it doesn't matter. What matters is the technology. The fact that you can buy this and you really own it and there's science behind the fact that it's yours. It's true ownership behind this. That is the important part. That's the significant part. And then the utility associated with the NFTs is the important part. Saying the buzzword NFT, all that's, that, that should be outlawed because it really does more harm than good so that being said um yeah i don't see this board run being an nft board run at all um i don't see i don't see vv and the omi token doing much at all this board run if you want to if you ask me personally if they have some type of uh, um releases coming up that that's going to be big and change the narrative i mean that would be huge I, it would be interesting i mean vv does have a history of not necessarily following the market but at the at the same time i i, I don't see it I mean, I definitely don't see it. So, so I think that the Omi token would probably be the biggest opportunity or potentially the safest opportunity, but that's once we get put on that first major exchange. 
Now, I think that there will be some hype to being on that first major exchange. There will be a little bit of hype if we see the Omi token put on a major exchange. There'll be a, a little bit of hype. Um, at the point where there's a little bit of hype, I also believe that we'll see um, we'll see a brief pump, but I believe that it's going to go back down. I think that there needs to be a reason for the Omi token to come out and thrive. Um, and yeah, I think that there that there just needs to be more of a reason for it to come out and thrive, which means us knowing where where Vivi is going to be going, where Vivi actually fits in, because it's place here. It's it's threatened. It's it's very threatened. It's not and not in the form of NFTs like oh this was a VV killer. People thought Recur was going to kill it and all these other things. Um, not not in that sense. It's just like with real metaverses coming out, with us seeing other teams develop and and how good everything is in the space. It's like where does VV truly fit in? So if you're a current VV holder, you're going to have the mindset oh this is going to the moon. You're supposed to have that mindset. But if you're a broader you know, if you were looking into the space from, you know, a, a bird's eye view, there's nothing really special about VV outside of the IP. So how can they use their special point and share that with the rest of the space in a way that the rest of the space actually wants anything that VV has to offer? Because right now it just completely disobeys and ignores all the rules of Web3. And who who knows if, if this these communities is going to accept some Web 2.5 or whatever they're calling it into their into their Web3 spaces. So, it's yet to be um, proven that that the that VV is going to be significant. Um, but when it is, if it is, if it does get confirmed, they get the token put on some exchanges. We can see that it's legitimate. They're working with the um, they're actually working with it. It is still a space where they can actually perform. They can perform and they can bring some value. Now, if they're going to do that, I have no idea, but this is just some of my thoughts. So this is why I'm still holding. Um, as far as the individual pieces, I don't see myself buying more pieces on VV. I don't see myself collecting anything. I don't even see myself trying to flip. There's much more money to be made in the broader space if you know how to make money there. So why would I go for a VV drop and attempt to sell when it's 50-50 if the price is going to drop below what you bought it for instantly? It's like, it's, it's no point in even taking a risk like that for somebody like me. But yeah, I mean, so I can't see myself purchasing any of their NFTs, but I can see the value of those brands. And if they become the space to go to when it comes down to collecting or in the whole space, that is going to be huge. And I and, and if they link the Omi token to that in some significant way, I believe that, that that would make the Omi token one of the most, you know, valuable tokens in the world. If VV can manage to to get their product on the shelves of all the all the um other projects in this space. I can't see VV itself becoming so important outside of some AR opportunities, potentially. I can't see VV itself becoming so important that it becomes some type of king in this metaverse space. But I mean, who knows? But yeah, so this is my vision and thoughts when it comes down to VV, the Omi token and things right now as they stand. Um, I wouldn't say that I'm bullish. I actually wouldn't say that I'm bearish either. I just think that there's not enough information. We don't know which direction this is going to go. Uh, we don't know their plans. We don't know much of anything. So we're just in a place where we're just here. So yeah, just here. It's just a waiting game. Um, that's how I'm looking at it. Um, yeah, I, like I said, I've said this many times before. There's much more better money making opportunities in this bull run than than um than to be looking at Vivi or Omi. So yeah, I have no intentions of looking at it too too much, staring at it. Um, this bull run at all, I don't expect it to go anywhere. I do have my bags. If those go up, congrats. Like, I'm happy. I'm ha I, obviously I, I love money. So yeah, if it makes me a little bit of money, cool. Um, I'm not playing. I'm not banking on it doing anything anytime soon though. E even if the Omi token is going to be introduced into VV in a very significant way, not for people trying to collect on the VV app or anything like that. I mean, in a significant way where you can purchase a VV collectible directly from different metaverses and things like that. That's what I mean by, and you have to use the Omi token in some way. That's what I mean by significant. That would be significant. People having to come and KYC on VV to take part and stuff. I'm not, I, I'm not very confident that they succeed with that type of model. Now, if it's an easy, quick cash out, like like an Amazon quick pay, quick cash out, you can do that from any metaverse around and you can own a VV product. Like then VV, then we're talking, then we're cooking. And, and then if the Omi token is, is attached to that in some way, we're really cooking. So that being said, 
with that, that that's the vision that I have for the project. Now, I don't know if this vision is the vision for the project or anywhere close. It could be completely the opposite. They could be coming out trying to become king. And that's where I would have a, a more of a bearish outlook because if they're trying to become king in this space, I've seen the competition. I don't believe that they could do it. So that's where I believe that they're in fairy tale and La La Land. Like that their their quality their quality was good for it being the first NFT project out there. The quality was good back then. Their quality has improved, but it's still terrible compared to a lot of the other stuff out there. Primary King being Fortnite. Like I believe Fortnite's items look way better than VV's and they, they don't take as long. So that being said, let me know what you all think. I just wanted to share with you all my thoughts. Not bullish, not bearish. I do see the potential. We just have to hold and wait to see what actually happens. All we can do is speculate at this point in time. We need to move past the point of speculating about VV and see what's actually going to happen and what's actually going to be delivered. So that's my genuine thoughts on it. Let me know what you all feel, how you all think about that in the comment section down below. Drop that thumbs up, subscribe, turn on notifications. And yeah, I'll catch you all on the next one. Peace out, fam.